Today's video is an oldie. It's, well, it's two weeks old, and I wanted to shoot a little disclaimer before I roll the rest of the video. So this video was shot at Royal Roads University in Victoria, and I haven't put it up because I crashed this thing into a tree there and it sat in the tree because we couldn't get it out in the pouring rain for over a week and I just got it back in the mail and it runs perfectly fine. So that is a testament to DJI's Mavic Pro incredible hardware sat in a tree. I'm not kidding you snow icy rain for over a week I think at least eight days before I got it down and uh, I fired it up and flew it and it works perfectly. So I wanna say before I roll this video that I wasn't supposed to be flying my drone at Royal Roads. I, I guess I was technically, uh, I didn't know I was breaking the rules, but I was and so I wanna make it clear that that won't happen again and people shouldn't be flying drones over Royal, Royal Roads University. All right, here's the video. Victoria, BC. In fact, I'm in an area of Victoria called Colwood, which is where the campus of the Royal Roads University is. And I've been teaching some workshops here over the last couple days, but I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys this really, really antique greenhouse. This is a 1920s greenhouse. It was built by the Dunsmuir family, which was a Canadian sort of aristocrat type family that made a fortune on coal mining. And uh, it's kind of a long story, but they eventually went bankrupt and then they foreclosed the property, the government took it over, it eventually turned into the University of Royal Roads, which it is today. But I just wanted to show this, this to you because it is really fascinating. And for something from the 1920s, it still functions. And in fact, they even have the original radiate, radiant heat system on it which is powered by coal, or which was powered by coal. The, uh, the uh, groundskeeper was kind enough to show me the actual coal furnace, and that's what you're looking at in here. But I'm sure that this radiant heat system is powered by something more modern, because I don't think they're burning coal to operate this greenhouse. But it's just, it's a beautiful, I mean, it's warm in here. It's sunny, it's still winter time, it's late February, and uh, Got to be 25 degrees Celsius in here. Beautiful climate. They're growing kumquat oranges, little mandarins. Uh, looks like a key lime tree over there. They've got tropical fruit in here, aloe plants. Part of the design was really interesting. The groundskeeper was telling me that the this is dirt that we're sitting on, and the foundation was kind of shaped like a U, and about six feet below where I'm standing right here on this wood boardwalk, there was a drainage point. And so maybe they had stuff growing in the soil at some point, I'm not so sure, but um, they've got pots in here and they're watering it, and so all the water drains through. So it's, it's neat that some of the technology in greenhouses really hasn't changed much, and this is almost 100 years old. And they've got, this. I thought this was kind of neat, They've got this, it's called a white grape, and I think it's a warmer climate type grape, then that's probably the reason why it's in here, but they've got it growing into the greenhouse, the base of it is outside there, and it grows along, and they've got it all trellised along here, and um, into the spring and summer and fall, I'm sure this is just absolutely full of these types of grapes, and they've got them again here as well, the base of the plant, the rootstock of it is outside, and then they've got the rootstock coming through, in here, all trellised up. So I'm sure by summer and fall, this is just full of foliage. So it's just a fantastic greenhouse and the technology is old school, but it's still relevant. I mean, this is how they, they crank these here to open the tops up, the ventilation. They got another one that they crank here. This opens our side panels. So that's what would allow cool air to come in and then the hot air would ventilate. So there's sort of a natural cooling and heating cycle to this greenhouse. They've even got some antique cold frames here. So I imagine this would be sort of your hardening off 
of plants and maybe putting in some crops or plants that they want to overwinter a little bit, didn't need to have the warmth of the greenhouse, but somewhat protected from the winter. So some very, very antique cold frames. Now I imagine um, for the Dunsmuir family to build something like this back in those days required some amount of capital. Um, these things would not be cheap to build, I'm sure. Even today to build a greenhouse like this out of glass would cost you a lot of money, probably $100,000 or something. With all the concrete and all the the finishing work in it. It's just amazing. So anyways, I thought I would share that with you guys. It's quite fantastic. Having fun here in Victoria. Haven't done any videos in the last couple days just because I've been teaching, busy with teaching a microgreens workshop and my one day workshop. But uh, be back on my farm soon enough and be making videos once again. We'll talk to you guys later. Yeah.